Somebody's coming. <laughs> Somebody was in there. Yes. <laughs> I wonder who this is. Feels like a bass the way it's running. But it doesn't mean it's not a decent slime bear. No, it's a bass. <laughs> he is hiding in tight. He, he saw that spinnerbait come in. He just came over and said hello. That guy. And there was another one too. I saw a second V. There was the guy that hit me, and there was another V that came whipping over too. So <laughs> let's see if there's uh, another fish in there. Somebody's coming. All right, I'm gonna pile it back in there. Hey, look what we got here. We got a regular cluster of pitcher plants. Oh, that's so cool. Look at on both sides of the canoe or kayak. See that? Those are pitcher plants right there too. Look at the flowers haven't even opened yet. Those are insect eating plants. The flower which smells like dead meat will end up <laughs> attracting flies which go into the pitcher which have little hairs. I'll get a close up of the little hairs. And one of my favorite plants to find, because they're pretty rare and available only in bogs where people don't tend to go, is right here. This is our pitcher plant. And the pitcher plant is just the coolest. I don't even know. It's like an alien. It's got flowers that haven't opened up yet. And when they do, they're going to smell like rotten meat, which is going to attract flies from all over the place. And the flies will end up coming in toward that flower and then smell a really sweet nectar coming from the base of these crazily evolved leaves, which are shaped like a vase. And if we look inside carefully, you can see the hair right there. There's hair. I'm in a kayak, so i got to be careful I don't tip myself over. But these hairs are pointing down the throat of the vase, the pitcher. And at the bottom is digestive juices. And the fly will go in and he won't come out. He'll get digested by the pitcher plant. Look at this guy. There's some little pitchers growing, just starting off. So this guy froze in the winter and now he's busting in to life again to start eating insects for us. The stuff you find in your local bogs and on these bog islands that I'm on right now, I got some really cool tamarack, which are a conifer that sheds its needles in the fall, like a deciduous tree. And they look all dreary in the winter when you see them. And then I got poison sumac growing behind me over here. I don't want to touch any of it, but you can see the regular field of poison sumac. See the female red-winged blackbird right there? Well, behind her is all kinds of poison sumac. And we're looking at a little lagoon with cattails and tufts of water grass growing. It's just, here comes a male red wing. Getting out in the bogs is awesome. And you can run into clumps of pitcher plants like I've got right here if you're lucky. And there's another big one. Look at how it's growing right down and under the water. Maybe because the bog collapsed a little bit in the winter time. And uh, so those plants that are under the water aren't going to be doing too well. But the plant continues to grow and send off shoots. And so, we'll expect to find this guy again another time. When the flowers are open and the flies are getting munched. Isn't that cool? I figured I'd share the pitcher plant. Check it out. Flowers. All the buds. And now here, the pitcher. They shape leaves. The veins, beautiful red veins. Really cool. I hope you enjoyed this short little video on the pitcher plant. And I don't know its Latin name. I'm just here enjoying it. Each of these clumps of grass has a family or colony of pitcher plants doing their thing. Beautiful. And then over here on this side, there's a big clump of them right there. Get us over there and show you. And these ones are showing uh, 
winter kill. Like like they got killed off by the cold. Or maybe they were underwater, who the heck knows. But young ones are starting to sprout. You can see some flowers popping out. What a really, what a really cool find. Picture plants.